Hey, my queens. Thank you guys for tuning in to Foodie Friday. And today, y'all got me on this protein kick. And I am going to make Italian meatballs. Vegan Italian meatballs. with just the little ingredients. It's not, it doesn't take a lot of ingredients for this either, so that's what makes it even better. And I am really preparing my meal for the next couple of work days. So here we go. We're gonna start out with our Italian breadcrumbs. None of this is sponsored. Hint. Okay. So we're gonna start with our breadcrumbs. We're gonna take a half a cup Italian bread. Oh, it so good. Italian breadcrumbs. Okay, that's a half a cup. And we're gonna do instead of milk, I wanted to add a little bit of more flavor. So this is my vegetable base. Uh, vegan uh, bouillon. It's, it's, it's like that, but it's uh, it's better than bouillon. Not just because it's vegan, but it also you don't need. It doesn't take a lot to give it that flavor. So I'm gonna pour this in here. And I'm gonna mix. Okay, we're gonna mix this up. And now we're going to add in the rest of our ingredients, which calls for one egg, and this is our egg replacer. So I'm gonna place that in here. Okay. We have our, before I do this, it calls for onions and garlic, but I like to saute my onions and garlic first before we just place it into this batter mix. So I'm going to go over here and start sauteing my onions and garlic, and then we will finish the rest. So we're going to start sauteing. I, mean, I just have a thing with just raw onion and raw garlic. I know it'll be cooked up in the meatballs, but I want the flavor to pop before I put it into the, the mixture. So I tell y'all, don't do ingredients. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna do whatever myself. I also wanted to give shout out to myself because you guys, the releasing of the weight is really slow. It's been slow lately. Um, and I think it's just because I've been working a lot, but no excuses. But I have been releasing inches and the inches are showing like in my arms and my belly. So I have been like trying to camouflage those things, like wearing longer sleeves or sleeves or quarter length sleeves. Well, your girl L is over it because it's 110 yen <laughs> outdoors. So I'm like, if the bats fly, hi, I'm gonna let them fly because I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of the accomplishments, maintaining the release of the weight, and now the inches are coming down, and now they're like really obvious. And I don't know, first I was feeling some type of way, but I feel good. I feel good and I don't care. I don't care. 
I don't care if they fly or droop. This has been a long time coming. I just thought I'd throw that in there. And one of the reasons why I thought I'd throw that in there is because uh, my girl, It's Meg, had gave me a shout out on her channel about the word release. And I want to thank you for that because I've always had a thing with people saying lose weight, lose weight, you know, lose this, lose that. And to me, it's about releasing. Because if you lose something, that means you want to get it back. But if you release something, that means you never want it to return. So that is my in my vocabulary, releasing. And I want to give that shout out to Meg. Thank you. Love you, Queen. So I just thought I'd say that as I saute the onions and garlic. See, it's bringing out that smell that, well, you can't smell it, but the, the smell, and it's gonna pop even more in these meatballs. While I'm sauteing these onions and garlic, I want to give let you guys see a clip of Meg giving me a shout out. Yes. Serve you. Whatever does not make you feel happy or make you feel whole, let it go. Release it. Release, honestly, release anything. Release the weight. Because, you know, Mama L um, always says, and I'm going to put her channel, The L Connection. She always says that you don't lose weight. You release it. Release it means you don't expect it to come back or find it. If you lose it, you want to find it. When you release it, it's gone. Okay? Okay, all done. Now I'm going to place them in my batter. That. Set that to the side. And I'm gonna, you know me, add a little garlic. I didn't use this so much. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little garlic. Not a lot. Because we got flavors in here galore, galore, galore. And I have my vegan parmesan that I'm going to add. Now, I might get heavy handed with this. Because y'all know. What's my favorite word? Flavor, flavor. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to add a little more Italian seasoning. Even though the, the breadcrumbs had it. Y'all yeah. yeah, just real life. And then I'm gonna mix all of this up. And I'm gonna put in the last ingredients is my meat. I'm going to add my meat and then I'm gonna create some little meatballs and I will be right. I have mixed everything that was wet with the meat and now I'm getting ready to make my meatballs. And you, usually they say you can use like an ice cream scooper. Well, I don't eat ice cream like that around here. And if I did, it would be the little bite and it would be with a spoon. <laughs> so I don't have one. So we're gonna get our hands wet just so it won't stick to us. I'm going to uh, put them on a skillet, in a skillet and let them cook. And then I'm going to um, once they cook on the outside really well, I'm going to put some marinara sauce in a skillet. And then I'm going to let them cook with the marinara sauce. And no, it's not homemade marinara. <laughs> and the reason it's not homemade marinara is because sometimes we need something quick. And um, it is vegan. Um, 
of course, but really, I don't know what would be in marinara to make it not be <laughs> vegan. Because I'm thinking tomato paste and tomato. I don't know. But so that's what I'm thinking. So what I'm gonna do is finish rolling my meatballs and I will be okay now that we have completed our meatballs and getting them all sauteed and all goodness in the pot skillet i'm going to add my marinara like i said this is a quick marinara fix <laughs> and it is uh organic and vegan all same well not really but this is so all i'm gonna do is just pour over and let my meatballs just marinate. Get it? Marinara, marinate. <laughs> okay. So we're going to let that goodness marinate. And while this is mar not sponsored, while we're letting this marinate, I'm going to uh, get my asparagus. I'm just going to uh, oil them up a little bit, throw some seasoning salt on there, probably just sea salt. And I'm gonna pop them in the air fryer. And by the time we come back, my meatball should be completed marinating and the asparagus should be finished in the air fryer. It's all done. marinated meatballs <laughs> and asparagus i love asparagus i love asparagus i love cauliflower i love broccoli brussels sprouts but today we got asparagus <laughs> okay never done this before <laughs> so here we go the texture is not like regular meat the texture is a little soft not like you know regular meat but it's my meatball <laughs> let's see how it tastes it's okay it's okay yeah, it probably would have been good like on a meatball sandwich, meatball sub, uh, with a little um, pasta. But just by itself, because I'm a texture person. It's too soft, I'm just being honest. <laughs> But I've never tried it before. So what I probably would do is spare this. Um make some type of pasta to put it on. Or probably not cook it in the sauce, just leave it as a meatball. So it probably wouldn't make a sauce. The asparagus is so good. And I just oiled this with my grapeseed oil and did some, um, a little bit of salt. And that's it. This is so good. Okay. But yeah, with the meatballs, I'm probably just gonna try the marinara salt. Unless we're making spaghetti. But then if we're making spaghetti, 
still don't put the meatballs in the sauce. <laughs> Just put the meatballs on top with the spaghetti and sprinkle the marinara sauce around on the spaghetti. But y'all know I'm gonna eat it still. The flavor is really good. It's just that texture. I just wanted to um, do a little talk, tasting talk, <laughs> uh, just for a moment. Uh, I have been on social media, as everybody has, and I've noticed this, something called Sesame, Sesame Place, like Sesame Street, Sesame Place, and how uh, the characters have been shunning our black and brown babies. And this has just come to me, and I know I don't have little ones, but if I did, I would take my little ones from Sesame Place or Sesame Street over to Tab Time, Tabitha Brown. Take your kids there to where they can see themselves, learn, just soak up all the knowledge from Miss Tabitha Brown. Just take them there. <laughs> because if I had little kids now, that's where my children would be, my kids would be. Tab time. And on that note, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Got a little teary. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And share. This wasn't a total fail. Just the texture, but the taste is amazing. I will see you guys next week on Foodie Fridays. Bye.